it's Kelly the Embroidery Nurse. I wanted to walk you through the process that I go through every morning before I work where I'm working in my design studio in Embrilliance Essentials. There are several different softwares that you could use for embroidery to make your designs, to merge your designs, and to create all your fun things. But Embrilliance Essentials has truly been what I started with. I did research when I was first learning embroidery and it's the one I decided to work with and I've literally used it every day of my embroidery career. So I wanna show you what that process is it will kind of go fast as I kind of like work my way through it. You'll see things that kind of stump me as I'm working when it comes to custom orders and, you know, custom requests and things like that. So I thought it'd be fun to show you um, exactly how my process is. I try to do all of my design work first thing in the morning so that when I actually come back down to work, I can just like get to it. So check it all out. Hey guys. So let's jump into making all of the things on and brilliance essentials that i need to work on today i literally have i think 37 open orders um and a lot of these are things that um i need to get today so what i'm in the process of doing is um making all the designs i'm in my workout gear because i do this first thing in the morning it's the very first thing i come down and do I go ahead and work in a brilliance with um, creating all the designs. That way, when I you know, I'll go back upstairs, get breakfast, you know, uh, walk on my treadmill or walk outside if it's nice. And then when I come back to actually have time to turn the machines on, um, I can literally just stitch away. So let's get to it. I literally take them right off the top. The very first one I have is going to be a bow. So I have to do the tack down stitches first and i could probably save these so it's like that so that's the tack down stitches for the faux smocked plate then i go back and um i go to smocked love and i'm going to do the blank so i put that on top of it so now you can see the stitching and then i actually have to go back they're one and a half inches each they're not bx um formatted so i actually have to go in there probably is a bx format um now there was not when i originally got these um, I should go and see, but I just pull each letter. It really isn't that hard. It, obviously, it would be a little quicker if I did have it in BX. Um, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments if it's already available or if it's always been available. Who knows? Um, okay, so then I do line up. This child's name is Noah. So I use the grid um, lines down here when i want to line something up now a name like noah is shorter than some names so i space it out a little bit more so it fills up the smock plate because the smock plate is going to be the same size regardless of the name so i just kind of make it visually appealing then i just take it all and say center in the hoop and it centers it in the middle of my design there so there we go we've got noah the next thing um, that this same person ordered um, is a baby gown coming home outfit and they want the name Noah. Now they gave me a couple of options. And so I'm going to make both of the options and just kind of eyeball it and see which one looks better. They basically just said whichever one shows up better. Um, River Mill was no, actually no. That, yeah, yep. Yeah, the Jackson font was one that they had talked about. Um, that's probably going to be a lot thicker than the other option that they had mentioned, which was Tillman. That's down here at the bottom. Um, let's do the two inch as well, just to compare. Although I really prefer this one myself. Um, they're both great fonts though. The other one's just a bit thicker. But if I was choosing um, for a baby gown, and they are okay with me picking. They said Tillman or Jackson, something that will show up well and that Noah looks good in. Um, I like this one. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna take this one since they've given me creative um, liberties for that. I'm gonna center that in the hoop. So you see how I'm doing this. Now, if I want it to be a little bit bigger, I can change the size here. There's a two and a half. But on a baby gown, that probably would be a little big, although it is just four letters, so you can kind of adjust it with that. 
Um, I think that's okay. I might actually just take it down just a little bit, but not all the way. I think that looks good. So I do print out all these designs um, and then I put it with the item in the folder pocket when the item arrives. So they are getting, let's see, not the dress. Um, pretty sure these items have already come in. Yeah, it is a light, light blue three months and then the green ear sucker lined baby gown from love that cotton so what i do is i take those i take the item and i take the two printouts that i just made i fold them all up and i stick them in um in the folder so that when I come down, I will save this to uh, my USB port. And so when I come down to stitch, these are ready. And I just kind of put them in order of what I need to do each day. Um, this next one, this has been a really popular one. So I can actually just go to one that I already have done. Uh, I'm going to just copy and paste. And so that's real simple when I can do that. This one, I just need to change out the name. This name is Easton. Um, look at it and see if that looks good. It does. So we're going to just say file, print. So we can save Easton's. And Easton is a 2T long sleeve. I pulled some of my shirts earlier. Whoa, that's funny. So I could know what I needed to order. Because that's the other process that I do right now. Um, I try to keep shirts in stock, but right now I've been having a run on Valentine's shirts, so um, there's definitely potential that I've run out of a size. So as I'm doing this, I'll check and see. These next two are um, navy lunch boxes, and those are I'm waiting on those, so I'm actually going to set that aside. Same thing with this one. This is a um, book bag lunchbox cosmetic case set. They're all on order, I'm waiting on a shipment to come. Um, okay, here is a size, let's see, pink 5T dress, and that has arrived. And this is a Valentine's dress. So I can actually, for this one, go to, um, I sometimes actually have to go back to my shop manager and I'll type in, let's see, looking for my listing. Um, Valentine's. This is the one I ordered. I want to look at it because I want to see. Um, okay, that was the sketch. So it's sketch font and the name is Abigail. So, and I see for the pink one that it's a red heart and then the multicolored heart. It's the double heart. So let's go here. The first thing that we can do is the sketch name. So I hit alphabet and I need to find it's I say sketch. I think it's called Scribble. It's from Alphalicious. I love it. I've always thought it was so cute. Here it is. Oscar scribble. Let me call it the right thing, please. Um, let's see. It's a size five T so I could potentially, but it's a longer name. So one and a half is probably going to be the best. Um, you really have to take into account what size, um, item you're stitching it on. I could probably get away with that one. Uh, I think I will. Now, a name like this, I just want to double check. A-B-I-G-A-I-L. That's fine. We're going to print that. And I can come back. I keep all of the ones up while, you know, once I stitch it, I'll take it off of them. Brilliance. I'll come up here and just go boom, 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 boom. Take them all down. But before I finish, if I haven't stitched this one yet, I try to leave it up as a tab. That way, if I go to the machine or when, once I start pinning it to the item and I'm like, oh, that's a little big, I can come over and just quickly alter it and change it again. Um, so I'm going to look for applique heart. That's how I save mine. And here's applique heart double valentine. Um, so I'm going to click on that and I do the, oh, hush it, the five by seven version. And there's my double heart. So I'm just going to print that out and we'll save that to my USB as well um, because that's the heart that's going to go on the bottom of that dress. So that one is now done. So let me get it in folder. So, you know, this one will have to be hooped twice, name and um, lower left-hand design. 
but I generally I do factor that in when I'm pricing a double hoop item. Okay, next we have a Easter basket. Um, this one's in ballerina font. I like the color used in the. All right, so we are just going to go to a new design. Let's go to that alphabet and find our ballerina font. Um, I generally know where they are. I know you can type in there, but since they don't start with the exact wording that I like. Um, okay, this is a Easter basket, so it can't be but so big. B E A. Beatrix. I mean, that sounds like a really cute name. Um, I might be able to get up to that's too big for her. Uh -uh. And so with an item like this, um, when it's cursive, I want to drag them and connect our cursive letters. So I just pull it over. And that is just so pretty. I love that one. Okay, so let me just double check. B E A T R I X Beatrix. All right. We're going to print that one out and we'll stick that with its basket. Good. Those are out there. Okay, now I'm doing a red um, gown set um, with the cap. And they want black thread, color monogrammed, stacked. I like to write it. Casein. English, and then Kaysen is the name for the hat. Um, so let's see here. Make sure my printout goes. Um, all right, so stack. I really like stack. This is a fun one to do on here. Um, dun, 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 dun. I would love to think that I could tell you where I got all of these. Not all of them. Most of them I can probably tell you where. And most of them have the name programmed into them. So you like you see that um like the I2S that's gonna tell you that it's itch to stitch. And that's what this one is. So if we're doing it on the gown, we could probably do upwards to a three. And that's gonna be the largest letter. And so when you do stacked, I'm gonna do lowercase and lowercase. That's the middle, first and middle name. Then I'm gonna pull it back up and then we're gonna do an uppercase for the last name. So I use my grid again. I'm going to use this line to line it up. And I'm also going to use this side. So I can just come over here. You can drag it with the green. And I'm using this grid, all these lines. So I'm matching this top, this bottom, and these sides. So they're all where they need to be. And I might bring this a little bit over. And there you go. We've got our stacked monogram. Center that. And we're good to go on that gown. Now, um, I've got to go back in my listing, y'all, because I've got to remember, um, I'm going to write cap. Let me see if it pulls up that way. No, those are a lot of different caps. Uh, let's write gown. Does it come up that way? It's my colored version. Oh, it's actually the gray one. It's this one. So I just want to see what is the, okay, that is, dun, 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 dun. let me go back and find it. I should know all these y'all. It's a little ridiculous that I don't, um, which font is that? I do so many different items that, um, I think that's jelly bean and definitely the one, cause this is going on the edge. So the way I can tell is I'll sometimes literally type, okay, yep, yeah, that's definitely, that definitely matches that right there. So I can look at that and be like, okay, that's the right font. Now I just got to make sure it's the right name. So we are doing Kaysen on this one and we're done. So you do have to do a very small one because we're doing it on the edge of a cap. So if you guys have any questions about Embrilliance, there, it's so funny. I've done several videos like this and I actually have had people that are watching be like, oh, but if you do this, it would be so much quicker. And it's just things that I didn't even know. I've taken a couple of classes, uh, but there is so much individualization that you can do within Embrilliance. I just, I just, I, I adore it. I love it. Okay. Let's see. The next one is a very popular Valentine's shirt of mine. So I can go back to my files. I can go back to my files. 
go back to my Valentine's section. And I know I have this one in there. This is going to be this one right here. So what I do is I bring it down and this is, I just need to replace the letters. So I'm going to go in and change this. This is the fancy circle from itch to stitch. And I like to write it out again. We've got, um, a S C. So I think that's the three and a half. Yeah. A S C. Perfect. So now I'm going to go click on the first letters and take those out. And sometimes with these, I like to bring them in a little bit to make it feel a little more circular. There we go. I like that. And then I just want to center it into the hoop, which this I know is centered. And there you go. I love this one. All right. So that is their first shirt. You'll kind of get a sense of how I do this each day. Um, they also got a pair of bloomers and they want an interlocking monogram, white on white. That's always pretty. I like that. Just very understated. Um, and they just want your average or average, just your old school interlocking font on that. That's still a winner with many folks. So this is actually um, another way of doing this. Let's see, we're doing M and then uppercase M and B. So you see here how I did lowercase and, and uppercase, and that's going to signify, let me show you if I just did uppercase M and B. They're all the same size. That's not what we want. We want it to be like a monogram where the two on the sides are smaller. The two sides are smaller. Um, so you do lowercase, large uppercase, and lowercase. And see how that makes that. And then I like it to stitch the sides. And then I like the middle part to, to be on top so that the last name stands out. So if we go down here, if you are following along here, um, I want it to stitch left, right, center. So you see how these are other options of how you can do it. Left, right, center is what I want. So if I was going to go to the stitching here, it will show you, all right, it's going to do that M and then the right, the B, and then the middle center. Um, so it just shows you there's different reasons, you know, why you would want to do it different ways. If I was to go, let's say, um, say I wanted the, the sides to be more prominent. I could choose center left right and then go to my stitch and I'll show you how that will do it. See that one's going to do the middle letter first and then the right and the left. So uh, lots of ways that you can do it depending on your preference. But for me, I always like the center letter to be the most prominent because, well, just because. So I do left, right, center. Now I also like to line these up. So I like to put this line right here because I want to bring these in. I mean, it's called interlocking for a reason. These should interlock. And, and when it comes straight out of the gate there, it's not interlocking. So I like to interlock them. I don't like to interlock them too much because I don't like it to be but so much overlapping. But again, it's just preference. I like M because it's symmetrical. Um, so that's easier to do than some. So those are still along the same line. That looks perfect. We're going to say file. We're going to print. Now you don't have to do this version of, of printing it out. That's completely up to you. I just like to print out my design. So they had a 5T short sleeve ruffle. Let's find, there we go. And then we have a bloomer set. And I've got a bloomer set. So um, I can put both this and the bloomers. We'll put all of these together into their folder. The other reason why I really like to do this in the beginning of the day is because then I can um, decide what I want to do in what order. A lot of these Valentine's things I'll keep on one machine because they'll have all the reds and the pinks and the blues. Appliques I'll put on one. Monograms I'll put on one. Easter baskets and uh, book bags I'll do one because I can use my fast frames and have that already set up. Um, okay, let's see. The next is, hmm, this is someone that's chosen some personalization that, um, 
Oh, I think I opened up two, didn't I? This is for the, the clean and dirty mask bags. They want to personalize it, which is an option. You can pay more to add your name to it. Um, so now I just need to find it. Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. We're going to do, this is the Applique Market Skinny Farmhouse. And I do the two inch for this. And her name is, is uh, Bella. Then she wants space M. A lot of times when you put a space in, it makes it so far away. Uh, I'm just going to pull it a little closer. Isabella M is what she has written there. Uh, but it almost looks like Isabella M. Hmm. I'm move it over a little bit more. That's what she wrote. So uh, there must be two Isabellas, I'm guessing, in their class. A lot of times people are doing this for school age kids. Okay, so she's doing a set um, with her name for the um, clean and dirty bags. But so she also wants a um, a smaller mask bag that you can put in, and she wants it to say Isabella Isabella M's daily mask. Only problem with that is it it's very small. It's gonna be really hard to put all those words on there. Um, so the only way to do that is to really just make the wording so much smaller. I had it where it just had a child's name and then the word mask. Let me show you the listing. Um, it's hard when people are like, well, I see what you've done, but here's what I want. Um, because sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work and, and I'll just have to look. If it doesn't, then I'll have to reevaluate that. So this is what she has ordered. This one right here, she did the cursive name one. I'm trying to bring up the picture. But what she's asked for it to say is Isabella M's daily mask. And you can see how small this is. This is a child's mask. It just fits like, you know, children's mask in it. Well, I mean, it could fit adults. You just have to fold them over. But anyway, the writing is already small. So to put Isabella M's daily mask, um, that's really kind of stretching it for me. Um, for one, you can't really open that item up anymore. I'm going to create it, and then I am pretty sure this is one I'm going to have to tweak. It's going to have to be really small. So in the end, they might not like that. Daily mask. I mean, that's tiny, but honestly... She's not ordering what my listing was. Really, you're just supposed to add the child's name. They, she's changed all the wording. But that's okay. I will try. Uh, and I might have to send her a mock-up. If it's questionable, um, as far as the way I think it looks versus how I think she is hoping it will look, then um, then I'll send a mock-up. I don't do mock-ups for everything. No way would I have time to send a mock-up for all of these. Because most of the time, you're ordering straight off my listing, so there's no reason for it. All right, the smallest for the name is this, and that's already a long name. So, and she wants Isabella M's. Ugh, yeah, this is going to be really hard. So let's see, I might just have to shrink it. But then this this text itself, um, I do like it because it, um, it doesn't have to be perfect because none of it's lined up. It's not an exact line straight across. These letters kind of jump around, and I love it for that. Um, it just makes it easier. But we're doing Isabella. No, Isabella. I'm sorry. I need to change that. She wants the apostrophe S. Ah. And when you change it, you've got to realign everything again if you change it. That's okay. Um, she wants the M. So Isabella M's to have the apostrophe on the M, if that makes sense. Now, when I originally did this bag, I didn't do it grammatically correct. I did not have the <laughs> apostrophe on the child's name, but I've since fixed that. Um, all right, so this is what she's ordered. Um, so we'll just see. Why does this letter seem so, I mean, it's, capital but look how much bigger this one is than that i might even go do 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 yeah and i want to make that centered 
and that is too. All right, so I'm going to print it out. I'm going to look at it against my item, and this is definitely one I might have to come back and revamp. But um, you know, it's long. It's long, even that one. I might have to make that smaller as well. Everything about that looks like it's too big. Okay, next is a Easter basket, and they want a fishtail monogram in gold. Ooh, that would be pretty. And again, I have everyone submit their full name so that I can put it in the correct order. I think that takes away a lot of the confusion. So I ask that in my personalization boxes. So I'm going to go over here and find my fishtail. There's a lot of really pretty fishtail monograms out there. Um, let me see if I can remember. Dun, 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 dun. I know y'all are probably like, gosh, it takes up so much time doing that. Here we go. Oh, where'd you go? I went too fast. This is mine. And now I don't remember where I got it from because it doesn't say on there. All right. It's for an Easter basket. So probably it's probably big enough. I feel like three and a half is kind of big for, um, I always keep my ruler nearby. Um, well, that's not too big. The Easter baskets are pretty big, so we'll do that. I, I think it looks, I mean, the bigger the better, but sometimes you just want it to be a, appropriate in size. And so like with this one, um, I'm probably going to drag it over some just to make it look a little more symmetrical. It's hard when you have a, a middle letter that's um, open on one side because it automatically gives you this visual, visualization that it's not symmetrical, but I think that looks good. So we'll center that and print that in gold. That's going to look so pretty. And they're getting it on a pink, um, a pink Easter basket. That will be cute. And then next, um, they have selected a dress and they, it's the same initials monogram and gold. So I'm assuming they're wanting the exact same, um, since they did not change. So I'm going to keep it with that. And, That's, yep, 12 months Sears Records dress, which is cute. They're doing gold on that and then gold on the um, Easter basket. So in the end, this is probably their entire Easter outfit and basket. And that makes me happy. That's really cute that I can be a part of both of those things for them. This one, someone ordered something blank and that's a quick in the mail done. Okay, the next one is a cosmetic bathroom bag, pink seersucker. And let's see, they want the font to be, oh, they've written a lot of notes. They've also got a lunchbox, a book bag, and the cosmetic case. So the name on the backpack, oh, wow. They want two lines. Oh, gosh, both their first and middle name are so long. Ballerina. And they want interlocking for the monogram for the lunchbox and interlocking on the cosmetic case. So for the name, y'all, some of these long names, and this is a double long name. Yikes, both names are long. So they want ballerina. So, I mean, the thing when you have a double name and then it's long, I mean, the, the size, it just sometimes you just can't get very large um so she does want two lines and let's we're going to double check that g i o v a n n a and the middle name she goes by both concetta c o n c e t t a all right so i'm going to line these up put them on a line and then drag drag And just pull them all over so that our cursive letters are actually touching. All right. And then we're going to do the same with this. Pull that one over because it was too close to the first letter. Drag, 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 drag. Okay, and now I'm going to take this first name and I'm going to center it 
And so I know that's centered. I'm going to move it up and I'm going to take this name, same thing, center it. And I'm going to bring it down now. Oh, I hate this for this name that it has this tail here. Um, one option is to offset. Um, the other option is to, you know, go over. <clears throat> I don't really like either one of those, but I mean, that's centered for both the names and they're not touching. It's probably what we'll end up doing. Um, I wish this name was a little shorter because offsetting it under here would be really cute. But since it goes so far over here, um, I don't know. I am probably for this particular item going to message this mama and give her two options. And here, here's how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to um, take this copy and paste. It's on top of each other. So that's where you find it. Um, Oh, stop it. I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to move it up. All right. And then this one right here, I am going to do it where it's an exact um, overlay of it. And I'm going to move this down a little bit. Do the same thing here. Move this down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to um, utility, no, to view. I'm going to remove the hoop, utility. I'm going to remove the grid. And now I am going to print the screen. I know this is, I'm showing you this really fast of what I do. And I'm going to paste the screen. I'm going to crop it. And dun, 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 dun. save as a picture. We're going to save this as I'm going to save it literally as her name. G O Vana. And um, now I'm going to go to my Etsy orders. And dun, 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 we are going to find this order. So I'm not going to show you guys all of the details here, but um, just for security's sake. Um, so this is this item and I'm literally going to go and message this mama. And I'm just going to personalize it by saying, hey, in her first name, I am working on your daughter's book bag and wanted to show you a mock up of how her name will, I don't know why I'm talking like that, look. Let me know if you want both names centered or if you prefer the offset look. Thanks. I look forward to stitching it stitch if I could spell for you. Kelly. Um, and so I'm going to actually attach an image and it will be under pictures. Where did it go? There it is open. So I'm going to add it to that. It's added and I'm going to send it. So I'm going to wait for her to get back in touch with me in regards to that item. And so we're just going to keep moving forward and um, we'll see what she thinks um, is the best match for her daughter. Um, I'm going to throw on here the actual interlocking one as well. And I'll just cut and paste it once I hear back from her. But that one's going to be, wait, I don't even have it interlocking.
we've got G P C. Um, I'm just going to, like I said, throw that over here so that once I do hear back, she's already messaged me back. You guys, look how fast that is. That's awesome. I love when people respond right away. She said, hi. Thank you so much. I love it centered. Okay, perfect. So she doesn't want it offset. Um, she wants it to have that spacing, this one. So perfect. So I can really quickly, I love it when they respond like that, y'all. This is the one she wants. So we can say, whoops, utility center. And I'm actually going to put my hoop and grid back because that makes me happier. And then this one, I mean, can you believe she responded that quickly? So that, I mean, that's, that's dreamy. That doesn't, that doesn't always happen. You guys know that really never happens. Um, getting a phone call from a 1-800 number that I ain't answer. I think I actually answered it, but we don't really want it. Okay. So then this is what she wants on the book bag. I'm sorry, on the um, lunchbox and the cosmetic case. And now we know this is what she wants on the book bag. Yay. So I'm just going to say to her, perfect. That way I've responded back to her um, message. So that works. Um, let's see. I've gotten another question. She says, is it possible to make it in? It, is it possible to make? Is that the color? Let's see. No, she wanted. Um, dun, 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 dun. That happens a lot when I send a mock-up. I don't change the colors on my screen, so she's worried that this is going to be the color. I'm saying this is just my computer mock-up. I will stitch it in dark pink. Um, yeah, it definitely confuses people when I send things like this. Like, you know, if she saw this, but she wants it in pink and... I just don't go in the program and change it. There's just, there, honestly, there's no reason to change it in the program. So that confuses her. So I just told her, you're good. I'm going to stitch it in pink. Um, so, okay. She actually took a picture, a screenshot of what my colors were. Anyway, awesome. All right. This next one is a big sister, little sister gown. Um, and I believe this mother... Now, I wish it. I wish she had written it in the comments because that helps me. But I believe I just had a conversation uh, with her. Oh, she actually said, I think my message got cut off before. I meant to say, is it possible to have it more of a medium size for her backpack so it's not so overpowering and large? And I'm going to say, yes, it will have to be since both names are longer okay um so let me go to my orders again so you see how i have to kind of go back and forth back and forth between my orders um let me find this one this is um a big sister <coughs> set and i can drop down and find my message history with this particular customer um okay she, I do remember her, this whole conversation, she wanted to, um, this is my listing where the um, sister's name is up and down, um, but she wanted to know if she could have it horizontal instead of vertical, and she can. I showed her where I had done that um, with some other items. I don't think I have these listed, but that's, you know, I normally take pictures of everything. I was like, yes, I actually have a picture of that. Um, and then I'd said, if you wanted the name, it would depend on the length. And of course she said the name is McKenna, so that's really long. So I told her we could do it just like this, where it could say little sister. Um, so yeah, she ordered it that way and, and that's the way we're going to go. So again, it, it it's you have to go back and forth between all your conversations and, and whatnot. So now I'm going to go to my big sister. I have a file where I've saved these like items. Um, I'm going to click on that and let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I believe it's this one. Let me click on it. Yep. 
Big Sister Caroline. So we're doing Big Sister, and all we need to do now is change the word for the name. It's Big Sister Anna Bell. A N N A B E L L E. So with these, I need to move them. This is our ballerina font again. So you can see how, you know, I've already made this sister. I don't need to reinvent that one. I just need to change the name. So I, I try to save it where I can just do that quickly. <laughs> this is a really long name, but um, I try to flush it with the right side. So that looks good. I put that where it dips down in there. That looks good. So this one's perfect. And we're just going to say file and print. Um, and then the, the newborn gown, I'm going to have to kind of play around with because it's, um, you know, not as wide, right? So let's see. I don't know if I have, I do. I have a little sister that I've already made. So there's little sister. And now, of course, this name's a lot longer. Um, M A C K E N N A. Um, and it should work. I mean, it just, it's not going to be as flush to the right hand side. Dun, 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 dun. So then I'm just going to take the whole thing and drag it over a little bit. Um, uh, and that still looks good good um overlaps a little bit but i think that actually looks good this is over to the side like that because it you know it goes in that dip there is potential that we could do it like that but i think i think we'll just keep it like that very similar to the you know the one that i showed her um i think that's good we've got big sister little sister you can see when i go back and forth that i've actually made this sister one um smaller i i um, shrunk it down a little bit and um, and brilliance is great where you can you know change that without it hurting the design <coughs> okay so that one's good I printed out big sister let me print out little sister and let me get them in their folders so we're doing an eight short sleeve and a newborn gown girl eight short sleeve and a newborn ruffle girl so we've got big sister we've got little sister we're going to grab those and put them in their own folders all right next we have another go find one and you can see at the top here i need to save all these um and i'll do that um i've got another valentine's and so these are easy because i just have to change the name so i can do that very quickly oops all right i can drag this one down a little bit because it doesn't have any tails and we're good there see how quick those are i love it when it's you know the appliques are quicker now they take a lot longer on the machine um oh running out of paper this is a five long sleeve five long sleeve grab that one stick it in its folder Grab it. The design with my printout. All right. Next, we're doing another set of mask bags. So I can actually go. I mean, sometimes if I can find it, if I had named everything. Where are you? Oh, here we go. Oh, you're a nothing. This one. So sometimes it's just as quick to do this instead of going to search for the. Um, fonts again um, but it's the same item just a different name so we're doing a set with a r u u k e all right so we're doing a set of mask bags personalized with that so that's easy enough 
Um, okay, now we're doing a Valentine's um, sequined heart shirt. Okay, so let me go find my applique heart. And this will be a different heart than the one we did earlier. The other one was a double heart. Um, this should just be this one. And it came in a lot of sizes, if I remember. And now i got to remember which size... Oh, no, that's definitely, and I don't know um, millimeters. That's just not the way I roll. Let's see. Let's try this one. Oh, hush it. Drag it. Drop it. Uh, that is a little closer. Um, I think we could even go bigger. What size? This is a 4T. Um, I feel like we'd even go this big. So this is a design where I, um, yeah, we could handle that. Do sequins here. Um, I'll show you this shirt real quick because I, again, need to see where I do. Let me just write heart. This one right here. So it's so cute. Like you do, it's the um, flippy fabric, flippy sequins. I call it flippy, <laughs> um, flip sequin heart. So it's gold and it's also um, red. So you can flip it back and forth and it's really cute. So that is, um, okay, let's find that font. And this child's name is Molly. I love this one because it's a really thick satin. Now, again, it takes a little longer when you're doing satin stitch, but for sequins, I really recommend doing a satin stitch hold it down all right let's see that's vanilla cupcake i believe it's gonna be because i think that's pretty it might not be actually um here's how i'm gonna tell i'm gonna actually write the name that's on my is that what it looks like oh hitting on the wrong thing yes that's definitely the same font um all right, so we're going to do Molly. And this one is directly below, but I do need to, um, actually, I need to drag these first. I hope this is helping you guys just see how, you know, I work in Brilliance and how easy it is to um, work in this program. And dun, dun, dun. I like that. I love when it can be underneath it like that. So now I want to take it and utility center. I will tell you the hoop size I have here. I custom put my size for my jerky hoop because that's what I use 98% um, of the time. So um, that looks perfect. We can print that out. So that way I know, you know, the designs I'm making how they're going to fit and really just kind of see what size. Will you hush it? I know I need more ink. Hush it. I will do that later. And this was a 4T long sleeve. There we go. We get our print out and our shirt and put it in. All right. We got two more trucks so let's copy these again and now we have joseph very close and we need to pull him down a little bit so we've got a joseph they got sibling shirts so we have a Joseph and a Andrew. Let's see if those shirts have arrived yet. Ordered. I had to order these um, because they're size 10 for boys. So I had to order those from Love That Cotton since they have size 10. So we've got those. I've got a lot of these Valentine trucks to do. Let's see here. You know, I don't think I'm going to do any more of these today because it really goes past um, 
items that I need to complete today and this weekend. So I've really done the ones um, that I need to complete. And a lot of these are Easter baskets and I'm still waiting on them to arrive. Uh, and they're, they're en route to me, so I'm not too concerned. Um, but some of these, yeah, I can just wait to do. Let me show you, here's one that I, I can do real quick. Um, this is another popular one I have. So I wanted to show you kind of how I've saved it. Um, if I go to my files, um, you know, where, where I save designs that I've already created, like it's just so much faster to do that. And I can go to dinosaur. Um, it's dinosaur biting because I've got a couple of different dinosaurs. Here's an example of how I have saved a dinosaur shirt for a two-year-old. Oh, come on. Okay, stop. So here's a two-year-old, right? But within that file, once I did someone that was three-year-old, I saved, you know, that one too. So there's my three-year-old. Um, and what am I doing here? Oh, see here, this is so annoying. This happens all the time. They did order a size five t-shirt, but they only put the name of the child. The picture is showing a dinosaur with a five on it but the listing is dinosaur t-rex birthday for first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth personalized embroidered shirt they can pick which you know year and they did not i'm gonna assume although i'm not gonna make it um but here's my dinosaur with a five on it so i can go ahead and take the first one that i have off there um and i do need to send this customer a message and make sure that um they really do want a size five but i was just kind of showing you how um you know how you could save it and then save each one you do so i've saved the second you know two-year-old three-year-old four-year-old five-year-old i mean gosh i've done every six-year-old i've got a dinosaur only when they wanted a sibling shirt um a one-year-old nine-year-old lots of year olds so anyway hope that helps showing you that I know this is a long video, but this is what I do every day. Um, if I have a bunch to do, I just sit down, I focus, and I just work within a brilliance program. And now I have it all done. So I do need to go back and, you know, I'll start at the beginning. Um, and then I just save it. And I save everything as a DST file. So I have it dropped down right here. And I'm just going to say Joshua Truck. I already have my USB um, stuck in there. This is one I did earlier. This is for a um, Valentine's. Valentine's? This is for an Easter basket. So I just save them all. And like I said, I'll keep it um, up on my screen until after I stitch it. And that's why you see a few up there that we didn't make today. There are some that I still need to stitch that I had already created. Um, I go through and once I've stitched it, I'll take it off of my um, screen so that it's no longer there because it's on the USB. But if I keep it on the screen before I stitch it, um, the reason I do that, like I was saying, is um, if I need to tweak it, if I you know, get it on the design and um, notice that it's a little too big or, or something needs to be changed, then I can just quickly come back to the screen and, um, and alter that. A lot of times I'll have like Easton. I, I already did something for an Easton uh, I did a faux smock, so there's already something named that. So that's why I try to be like Easton Truck, so I can find it when I put it on my machine. I see. I feel like for this one, that seems so big now that I'm looking at it. I like to do it big when I can, but um, so this one, this might actually be saved on my machine already since I've done so many of those. It's amazing the names that we get, Beatrix. When it's a monogram, I just do the monogram in order. I save it as that. Otherwise, I just do the child's name. I will at times, you know, obviously have to clear off my USB because I'll just get so many duplicates um, of names over time, even, even monograms. And then, you know, you've got your repeat customers too that will, I really know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to change all these just going to write Isabella and I'm going to write 
Isabella mask. Well, we made a lot, didn't we? A lot to stitch. But like I said, I did the ones that need to go out today, plus the ones that need to go out um, Monday so that I can work on them this weekend and get as many done really right now and then know what I have to do over the weekend. So Anna Bell. File, save as, I could have done this as I went along. But sometimes I like to take the long way. Luke, I can't believe there wasn't already a Luke in there. Now I have no, a Rook, A-R-U-U. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce that. Um, let's see if there's already a Molly. Yep. So let's do Molly Hart. Joseph. Okay. Andrew. Okay. And then we're going to wait on that because we need to figure out if Henry is really turning five. So guys, that was fun. I enjoyed doing this. I hope that you find value in just seeing what it's like to um, work in brilliance. Hope it helped. If you are interested in it, there's a link below. Um, if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I might not know every answer. And if you've seen me do something and you're like, Kelly, that is so backwards, let me know. I, I learn from you guys as just as just as much as you do from me. So uh, I appreciate it when anyone reaches out with something like that. So awesome. I hope you are having a great day. Happy. Um, I would say digitizing, but I'm not really digitizing. Happy. Let's just say happy stitching because I'm getting ready to go do that. Happy stitching, y'all. Bye.